Um, a couple of other disclaimers as I'm getting started. Uh, I will be mentioning certain companies, um, brands, uh, and uh, I nor the ULF have any specific connections or endorsements for those. I'm just listing some examples. Um, another disclaimer is that I am not an expert in adaptive toys. I am simply a mom of a leukodystrophy child, and I'm going to show you some um, toys that are specifically designed for special needs, and then also just some everyday toys that we um, find at our local stores that can be useful for our kiddos. Um, and then my next disclaimer is that uh, some of the photos that you see in this slide I do own. That is our beautiful daughter, and I do give permission for them to be shared. Okay, one of the first things I'm going to talk about are switch adapted toys. So um, all of these toys that have fun buttons and switches, uh, all of these musical toys, um, board games, they're are options to switch adapt them. And that can be um, a numer numerous different ways. But basically, instead of your child needing the fine motor skills to push one tiny little button or switch, it can be uh, adapted to a larger switch that they can tap with their hand, tap with their head, tap with their foot, um, roll over onto. There are so many different options. Um, so here's an example of one of those silly little singing, dancing um, uh, toys that may have been difficult for an individual to push that tiny button, but with that larger button there, it makes it much more accessible for them. Um, so ways to get a switch adapted toy. Um, there are lots and lots of companies out there, uh, including some of the big suppliers that we've all heard of that have already adapted them for you. Um, this is also becoming very popular on Etsy. There are a lot of uh, other special needs families that are learning to do this and then teaching others or selling the already adapted toys. Um, there are also kits you can order and switch adapt yourself. That may be, you know, the um, least expensive option. Um, once you do it once or twice, it's actually not that difficult and there are lots of videos that teach you how. And then I am going to list some of the companies and options where you can um, buy specialty toys. Uh, just a couple of things. The picture on the left is just some of the switch buttons that you can order. Um, the next is a, an adapted uh, dice roller so that your loved one could possibly um, play in some board games with you. Um, I'm going to go into some just very specific examples and how our family used them. Um, this one was great. Uh, uh, at this time, our daughter still had use of her upper body, and she was able to sit primarily unassisted. This is a fun little ride-on that they can control just by using their arms. And so there's no um, pedaling or lower body um, movements needed. Um, but again, uh, best when an individual can still sit um, unassisted. There are lots and of different names for this type of toy um, and lots of different sizes as well. Um, so sensory toys are extremely important, um, not only to unaffected kids, but um, affected individuals, whether they're children or adults. Uh, we learn and explore through our senses and sensory uh, play is, is fun, it's engaging, um, lots of different ways that you can do it. One thing we had a lot of fun with were these water orbs or orbies, or again, there are lots of different names for them. Basically, you soak these little beads in water, they get big and squishy, and we would hide lots of little toys in there. Um, such a fun idea for both uh, kids and adults. Um, the only thing that I will put up there just for safety reasons, just use caution um, if your loved one likes to pick things up and put them in their mouth. Uh, soft blocks, tumbling mats, a lot of uh, gymnastics equipment. These can be used in a variety of ways. Um, stacking, um, you can use them for support if your loved one can't sit unassisted. Um, 
you can work with your therapist, whether they're occupational or physical therapists, um, to learn how to use some of these to incorporate physical and occupational therapy in a fun way at home. Um, and they're great for those individuals that maybe can't sit um, unassisted or they may be a fall or tumbling risk. All right, I'm gonna go into some specific toys uh, that are designed or marketed towards special populations. I'm going to be focusing on one or two specific brands or manufacturers, but keep in mind, again, I'm not endorsing that one. It's one that I'm familiar with, um, but there are a lot of different options out there. So first, I'm gonna be talking about some toys um, that are marketed by Fat Brain Toys, and I do have their website up there. They do have an entire section um, dedicated to toys um, and playtime for special needs populations. And then they even have some subcategories where um, you may have certain concerns, whether it's autism, uh, cerebral palsy, um, muscular disorders. And so many of those overlap with our leukodystrophy needs. So here are just some great ones um, that can be used. Uh, they make them to where if you know, motor skills are still able to be used, they make them easier to grab uh, or a little bit larger than some of their uh, mainline counterparts. Um, some that we loved are uh, some of the toys that encourage therapy at home. So again, um, tummy time, um, using our upper body, picking things up and moving them. Um, these were all really helpful for therapy reasons. Uh, squigs, so our family, our entire family had a lot of fun with squigs. I do have an example that was donated here, so check those out. But basically they are like little suction cup toys that can be stuck to any flat surface. So we had an activity chair um, or an activity table over the wheelchair and we would stick those on there, stack them up, uh, and our daughter could, you know, play with them. They stick to windows, um, just a really fun, um, colorful and engaging toy. Whirly squigs are also a lot of fun. Um, anything that spins or makes noise, you know, our kids seem to get really excited about. Um, so again, we could stick those to a, an activity table or the tray of a wheelchair or the window and um, we can have a lot of fun there. Um, swings. Sw I don't know many individuals that don't like to swing. It's a great outdoor activity. There are some great swing options for mobility issues. Um, we chose personally, not this specific swing, but a just very large oval swing uh, that our daughter could lay on. And um, we were still able to incorporate kind of being out at the playground or in the backyard uh, with her, even though she was not physically able to sit up in a swing unassisted. So again, um, Lots of options out there, but here are just some ideas to maybe kind of get you, uh, you know, looking or shopping. Now, the other thing I like to bring up is that although there are many different companies that market and target special needs or adaptive toys, you don't need to go spend five or six hundred dollars on toys for your leukodystrophy family member or friends. There are a lot of things that we may already have at the house that you can just run to your local store and grab that are safe and fun and much, much cheaper than some of those specialty toys. So bean bags, these are great just for playing, relaxing. Um, it's a kind of a soft seating system. So bean bags are wonderful for our leukodystrophy family members. Um, splash pads. So they make portable splash pads, uh, and so your loved one or your family member can still enjoy kind of the sprinkler or the water without uh, the concerns of being in a swimming pool. I talked about um, different adaptive swings or disc swings um, to add to your you know, backyard playground. 
Um, back to the sensory type play, water and sand tables set up next to their uh, stroller, wheelchair, or wherever you have them uh, set up is a great way to, again, incorporate sensory play um, in a very fun way. Stress balls, you know, those things that we used to keep on our work desks. Um, those are great. Uh, a lot of our leukodystrophy family members will have some spasticity or the increased tone in their hand. That's a really fun way to help kind of stretch out those muscles, um, very safe and soft for them to use. Uh, so that's something that was, uh, was recommended by some of our therapists. Musical toys. Again, these are probably one of my favorite ones to recommend switch adapting. Um, adults, children alike, we love music, and uh, so those can easily be adapted to where your loved one can control them. Um, the sensory or touch and feel type books. So when we're reading, we can um, have the ones where you can run their fingers over the different textures as you're reading. And again, it's just a more engaging way to read with or read to your leukodystrophy family member. Uh, bubble blower machines. This is another fun one, whether you want to switch adapt it or not. Um, you can just turn it on. They get to enjoy bubbles without actually having to physically blow the bubbles themselves. Ball pits. So inflatable ball pits are so much fun. It can be used for um, therapy and play. Um, our therapist used one to where we could actually sit our daughter in the ball pit so she could sit up kind of assisted but not assisted and still play with the balls. So those are just some generic ideas of things that you can run down to your local store and try to incorporate at home uh, without spending the hundreds of dollars on specialty toys. Okay, so I just gave some quick examples of some of the toys that our family used and we enjoyed. Um, but if you did want to look for very specialty or adaptive toys, where can you go? Again, this is not all inclusive. These are just some that we are aware of and worked well for us. I mentioned Fat Brain Toys. They have some great just uh, mainstream toys, but again, different subcategories for um, certain conditions. Uh, SpecialNeedsToy.com has both a presence here in the USA and also in the UK. So for any of our overseas families, uh, they do offer multiple shipping options. Uh, RehabMart.com is targeted towards therapists, whether it's uh, you know physical and occupational therapy. However, their online store is open to the public and they do have a lot of those adapted toys, um, swings, um, et cetera. Fun and Function has some really great um, toys that again double as, as therapy, so check those out. Uh, Curious Minds Busy Bags is another one. Again, it was kind of started by a special needs family and they've expanded from there. So, And then some of the streamlined options. I have found a ton of options on Etsy. Again, toys that have been adapted by other special needs families and they've kind of spread the wealth. So just check some of those out. Um, and feel free to take a picture or I'll, these slides are also uploaded um, or will be uploaded onto our website. All right, so um, I'm keeping my part of the discussion brief. Um, what I'd love to hear, uh, either from people in the room, in the chat, or just through email, are some ideas of what you've used at home and what has worked with your leukodystrophy family member. Um, what have you tried that hasn't worked? So I'm going to put my contact information there. I would love to hear ideas. I would love to hear um, you know, your, your trials and errors with things that you've tried that did or did not work. Um, and then hopefully we can expand some of our options to include in future presentations. So again, if you see me wandering around the conference, pull me aside, but I can always be reached at uh, my email, and that's shannonreed at ulf.org. 
right. Like I said, I was gonna keep it brief. Um, any specific questions that I can answer? All right. Yeah. Yes, again, so some of those you said from Southpaw, those, uh, she was asking about swings. Um, I, we didn't personally try it. We were pretty satisfied with the inexpensive one we bought online that worked well for our um, affected and uh, unaffected child. Uh, but I do agree there are some great options out there um, that are not just kind of laying flat. They do allow some safe seating options as well. Um, we were actually hoping to work with our local community and getting some of those options installed at our parks too. All right. Uh, well, again, I'll be around for any questions uh, or comments and feel free to send me any ideas through that email that's listed on the screen.